you're gonna be shocked on just how fast this external SSD drive here can transfer 100 gigabytes of data. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. And this is gonna be the trilogy of testing these 40 gigabit per second Thunderbolt enclosures, external enclosures for SSDs. And what I mean by that is this is the third one I'm testing. So I did one on the Acasis one and I'll show a picture of that really quickly. And then I did one on the Gigamundo, which is a funny name and I'll show a picture of that as well. And you have to check those videos out to know what those did. So check out my uh, video description, I'll have links to those, all right? Today I'm doing the Mini Supuru and I'll show you close-ups of this thing as I'm talking in the box and everything. But this one's actually on Amazon right now and this one's 139 bucks. And you can see it over here, so 139 bucks. Now, you're gonna say that's maybe a little bit high, but no, it's got a $35 coupon right now, and plus these things are always on sale. So you can pick it up for about 105 bucks. I'll have a link to this in the description as well, so there we go. All right, so overall, what I wanna do in this video is I'm just gonna basically go over the build quality of this and show you a little bit of the close-ups of it. Then I'm gonna show you, uh, you know, what it does, obviously, what it's supposed to do. Then I'm gonna show you the cables it comes with and just general stuff like that. But then I'm gonna show you the, the drive that I'm gonna be using with it as a test, so you have to obviously install your own SSD. I always use the same one just to kind of compare all these models, so that's good. And then finally, I'm gonna do some speed tests which are a little bit different. I'm gonna do the, um, it's basically gonna be the Blackmagic test, and then we're gonna do a test on transferring 25 gigabytes of data, and we're gonna see how fast that is. But then the final test that's the most important is we're gonna do a full 100 gigabytes of data to see how fast it is. A lot of people that are watching always say, the thing will slow down, won't it? It's gonna get hot. It's gonna start slowing down after 50 gigabytes of data transfer. Well, I feel 100 gigabytes is a good test because most of my stuff that I'm doing, even video editing 4K is never over that. So we'll do 100 gigabytes. So stay tuned for the test and how long that takes. Let's get into the video. All right, so what does this actually come with? All right, let's talk about that. It comes with the enclosure itself, and the enclosure is made out of a really solid aluminum, just like the other enclosures were. And I'll show you some close-ups of that. It is, it does say 40 gigabit per second on the port on one side of it, and it does light up when you attach it. Now, it looks like on the side that there's these kind of like, I guess, vents, but they're not really vents that I can see. It looks like they're closed off. So you're really relying on some thermal pads and uh, you know just touching the metal on top to cool this thing, right? So it doesn't have those vents, it just looks like them. But it's really made pretty solid of you know block of aluminum and stuff it does come with some thermal pads two different sizes and I'll show you some of those up close the directions and it does come with a screwdriver there's four screws in the bottom to get into this thing and I'll show you as you get into this thing you can see the inside of it it's pretty basic obviously they all look very similar it's kind of you know obviously a plastic board in there that you install the SSD into it all right so the SSD, well, I'll get into that in a second. So if you look over here, just a couple quick things I want to talk about. It says it's got the built-in advanced JHL7440 chip. So for all it's worth, I just want to lay it out there. That's the chip that it's got involved in it. And uh, you can see here, it says it's a 40 gigabit per second transmission. Of course, these things can only get up to around 3,000 just because of overhead through those cables. And we've talked about that before. So go back and, you know, that's the reason, you know, you're not going to get 40 gigabits per second divided by eight. You're going to get around 3,000 at the most. So the next thing I want to talk about here is just, you know, this is a quick picture where you'll put the thermal pad on top of the SSD here. And I'll show you some close-ups of, you know, that as well. But basically, it's relying on the top cover to kind of dissipate the heat there. And then finally, let's just see what else there is. It says it's good for basically everything as far as editing, photos, movies, and gaming. And then base, let's see here, it does include the NVMe drives only, so it's got the M key or the B and M key, but not the SATA drive. So do not use SATA drives, it won't work with the B or M and B key if it's a SATA. It's gotta be an NVMe drive, M.2 drive SSD. So the one I'm gonna be using for the test today is the one I always use. I don't know if you can see that little shadow there. It's basically a one terabyte. It's the Black Magic Western Digital Black, not Black Magic, Western Digital Black SN770, and it's right there. These are really inexpensive. They're like 40 something bucks for a one terabyte drive. It does say in the box, it goes up to 5150, but of course, like I said, there's overhead on the enclosures. You're not gonna get that. But I like to use these standard just to test everything and make sure everything's very consistent. So let's get into the testing now. All right, so for the very first test, let's do a black magic test here. As you can see right here, it's gonna be about 2737 on the right, 2756 on the read. So not a bad score, and that's just black magic, so it's a very quick test. Things don't have time to heat up. So let's move it up a notch. Let's go up to about 25 gigabytes. All right, so now we're gonna do a test on the 25 gigabytes. Now I have my screen up here. You can see inspectors open 25 0.04 gigabytes of files here. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that down. Let's move this over. So I'm gonna drag it in here in a second. I'll tell you when I actually let go of it. So I'm holding it over here. We're gonna test over here. So in about two seconds here, I'm gonna let go. 
there it goes. So here we go. And I'm going to go ahead and just, you can see how fast it says I have the, the, the stats up on top there. But I'm going to tell you at the end of this exactly how fast it took because I timed it with the stopwatch. So there it is done. And at the end of the day, how long did that take? It took about 9 point, what is it, 9.97 seconds or so. So very fast. Obviously, it's still getting over about 25, two, what is it, 2,500 megabytes per second on the writes and reads and stuff. So you're going to get a big score there. Obviously, that's what we expected, under 10 seconds for that. And overall, that's a very good, you know, obviously it's not a ton of data, but it has enough time to get a little hot, so it did not drop off at all. All right, so this next test is going to be a lot larger test. It's going to be 35 items, 100 gigabytes of data, a little bit over 100 gigabytes, actually. So again, I'm going to drag it over here into the actual drive here. So one, two, three, there it goes. So I'm going to move this out of the way. Now, long story short, I'm going to let this go. I was going to thinking about going faster on this just to show people how, you know, this give you the time. But I want to show you in real time how long this is taking. You can see it right here. So currently we're up to about 37, 38 uh, gigabytes. But the question is, is this going to actually slow down, right? Here we go. So is it heating up? It's heating up a little bit. Obviously, things get hotter. Is it going to slow down at all? And we're going to find out the final number here in a second. As you can see, though, it doesn't appear so. We're up to about 75 gigabytes already, and it's still going really strong. It looks like it's not really slowing down. A lot of people know that like after you get past a certain point, you can notice that it gets really slow. Here it's still powering through, it's done. So what we came up with at the end of the day is I timed that, it was 38 seconds, 38.01 seconds. So basically 38 seconds for that. If you can imagine 100 gigabytes at 38 seconds, that means that if you divide that by the you know, 2,500 roughly, it did not drop at all. You know, it did not drop in speed really at all. It's gonna keep that speed over 100 gigabytes of data which is really strong for a drive like this. A lot of other ones will fail or they get slow. and You've noticed that before. This one powers through, and I think 100 gigabytes is fair. I know you might do a terabyte or something later on in life, but that's very rare and very, you know, obviously those are times where you can maybe afford to wait a little bit longer. But the 100 gigabyte test is good because a lot of people do this for their workloads, and you can see it takes only about 38 seconds. All right, so I want to wrap this up. So is this worth the money? Well, if you can pick it up for that sale, you know, anything in 110 bucks or so, I think it's totally worth it, all right? You saw the drive I used. It's the Western Digital SN770. I can't, I didn't test anything else, so you may have different results with different drives for sure. But this should be pretty accurate if you use these two different things, and I'll have links to them in the description. But overall, this is the Mini Superu 40 gigabit per second M.2 NVMe SSD enclosure. It's a mouthful but it performs really well up to that 100 gigabytes. Maybe I'll test some more later, but I feel like it still would be, you know, the heat wasn't too bad of an issue. You just gotta make sure the thermal pads touch the metal, and you, you know, some people leave the case open even and gives it more airflow. It's up to you. Thermals are important, so you gotta do what you gotta do to keep that down. But overall, if you do right, you know, if you keep it cool, this thing can perform, as you see, and uh, for most people, I think it's way more than enough. So let's wrap up the video. I'll talk to everybody in the next one. Peace.